Have you ever pondered the mystery of how computers in a small office or even your own home are interconnected? How do they share files, access the same printer, or play a multiplayer game? The answer lies in LAN or local area network. Imagine a small office with four computers. These computers are like islands, each with its own set of data. But what if one computer has a file that the other computers need? This is where a LAN comes into play. It's like a bridge that connects these islands, enabling them to share resources and communicate with each other. Now, how does LAN work? It operates in a specific geographical area, like an office, a house, or a group of buildings. The key components of a LAN include network cables, switches, and routers. The network cables act as the path, the switches as traffic controllers, and the routers as the gatekeepers. The process begins when one computer sends a packet of data. This packet travels through the network cable and reaches the switch. The switch, knowing exactly where to send the packet, routes it to the appropriate computer. And just like that, the data is transferred from one computer to another within a fraction of a second. But it's not just about sharing files. LAN also allows multiple devices to connect to a single internet connection. So, if you're playing a multiplayer game at home, it's LAN that enables all players to connect to the same game server simultaneously. In summary, LAN is the unsung hero that works behind the scenes in a small office or your home, connecting computers and other devices, facilitating resource sharing and communication. It's the bridge that links the islands of computers, enabling them to work as a cohesive unit. It's the magic that allows you to print a document from your laptop to a printer in another room or play a multiplayer game with your friends. And that, dear listeners, is the beauty of the local area network or LAN. It's a simple yet powerful technology that keeps our digital world interconnected.